First off, how to grip the blade, how to hold the blade. Everybody come up to our guard. First guard. First one on the blade. Palm up. Double slightly out from the body. Blade. The nose is tipped towards your opponent where your opponent would be. Because they're on their face. Backhand can either be forward or back. That's your comfort. Um, that's your basic guard right there. Spread and turn. Face that way. So that the audience can see. As you can see, they're basically open stance. Blades up. We'll be able to move slightly to either direction to protect themselves. They can hold the wrist slightly, keep the blade on point. They're, they're basically open and totally defended at that point. Okay. That is basically a tiered guard. You hear them talk about different numbers and things like that. That's basically tiered. That's your normal ready position. Now, if you're fighting on the streets, you're dueling, shame on us, you shouldn't be doing that, but it happens, you know. Somebody says something you're drawing out. Now I want you everybody to go to Prima, which is up high. Prima's up high, pointing at the face. Where this guard came from, where this guard came from was from drawing your sword. The first place your sword will be after it clears the scabbard is here. That's why it's called Prime. It's number one. Number two, second drop is right here to the outside. Palm stays to the outside. Blade is still pointing towards your opponent. Works as such. You'll drop to that or you'll come to that from Pierce, which is the third position, which is the normal starting position, by simply rolling out your arm. You're pushing out on the blade. What that does is attack to your outside line. I want you to block it from the to the second, okay? As you can see, if I'm coming in here on the outside line, all he has to do is roll his arm up, extend out, and pushes the blade out of the way. If he does it quickly and hard, it'll really beat the blade out of the way, or he can go slow and do it gently. Okay? Just like that. There you go. Turn this way. That's what you all can see. Okay. Again, on the online, just like that. Very simple. Hi, Dee. Glad you can make it. Um, now, that's covered three of the four guards already in very short order. Fourth guard is Quattro, which is out. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stand out. As you can see, extend it outward. Um, the stance tends to widen just a little bit on it. Again, it's a, it's a more of an aggressive type block. You can imagine, you know, kind of an oxymoron, but it's not. Because what you're trying to do is, is repost. You're trying to open up that timing so that you're throwing your opponent off and making them um, Get into their head, basically, so that you can counterattack. Um, okay, you all can relax for a minute. All right. Um, and that's one of the things that's key is timing. The person that can control the timing, and it's just, again, like heavy fighting, like any other kind of, of, of martial arts, the person that controls the timing will control the battle. The person that controls the battle normally wins. If you can control the timing, if you can throw the other person's timing off so that they can't see what's coming at them, or they're not expecting it, or they hesitate, or whichever way, either too fast or too slow, as long as you can control it, you can control the battle. Control the battle, you normally win. Um, that's where some of these blocks and guards come into play. You can slow the game down, you can speed the game up by throwing something odd at your opponent. Okay, um, that's basically that. Um, we've moved back and forth through the different... Okay, yeah, go ahead and move that. So, um, now, there are four grips also. I'm just going to hit those real fast so you all can see what we're talking about. But generally, it, it moves very naturally. It's very, very common. First grip, second grip, third grip, and fourth grip. Basically, it's the direction of the palms in the hand. Basically, you're pointing in every direction you can possibly turn your hand. When you're blocking, especially in the... the when the blocks, when you're doing the, the bind type blocks, where you're actually staying in contact for a longer period of time, Keeping that wrist up is a much stronger block. Now, to keep it down is faster and it gives you more length. One of the old tricks, and I always love to show this, I've showed it for years and years and years. Um, the human body is a really cool thing, okay? One of the things you may or may not realize, and again, this is, generally speaking, rapier is a touch type system. We're normally touching with the blades as opposed to hack and slash. Cut and thrust is coming about. It's kind of cool, but it's in its infancy, and it's, there's still some things to be worked out on. Meanwhile, with the touch, okay, with the palm up, as you can see, I'm barely touching. I'm not pulling any game at all. I'm touching, right? Just barely. 
Okay. Calm down. See the difference in the bend of the blade? Calm up. Calm down. I'm not playing any tricks. What the deal is is the way the shoulder's built. The shoulder with the palm down will grow your arm anywhere from a quarter to three quarters of an inch. And the more you use it, the more you stretch it, the longer it will get to, to the point where it's, you know, for quite a way. Up to three quarters of an inch. It gives you that extra little bit of reach. Now, if I'm in a battle and I'm trying to touch him, I'm trying to take that five pound touch on there, which is about that much. Okay? If I'm here and I can do that, I just want So there's reasons for having the guards both directions. Um, I hope that's clear enough. I mean, it's kind of a cool thing, but, you know, still sometimes it's kind of hard to grasp to get your head around. But um, that's why. Um, now, 